Hi everyone, welcome back to The Makeup Loft. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this metallic copper eyeshadow look. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and also that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of our new videos. If you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and also share this with your friends and family. So without further ado, let's get into this metallic copper eyeshadow tutorial. So we're gonna start off with the eyes and I'm going to grab this color tattoo in VIP. I'm just gonna use this as an eyeshadow base. I'm just grabbing a synthetic brush. Synthetic brushes work really well with cream-based products. So this is going to act as an eyeshadow primer, but as you guys can see, it's also going to sort of like even out the canvas and what that's what we want. It's just going to be a nice tacky base for the eyeshadow to stick on and it's also going to further enhance the pigmentation. Okay so we're going to dive right into an eyeshadow palette so I'm going to be grabbing this one right here and this one is the Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be grabbing a narrow sort of like blending brush and I'm going to be grabbing Sugar Coated. <music> I personally love copper eyeshadows. Um, I just love warm tone eyeshadows in general, but in particular copper tones, it's just kind of that nice in between between bronzy, but that extra added warmth. It just makes your eyes pop. And honestly, regardless of what eye color you have, it just really accentuates the nice colors and tones in your eyes. I mean, obviously I've got colored contact lenses in and it's really accentuating the blues and greens, but even with my natural eye color, which is a dark brown, it emphasizes the warmth of my eyes and it's just, it's so easy to work with. And honestly, I feel like copper eyeshadow is just something that you need to have in your collection. It's going to be a nice, um, safe color to wear, like any occasion, whether it be a daytime look or a nighttime look I personally like to go for like dramatic dark looks obviously but you can definitely tone this down to suit like a day look um, or you can do what I'm going to do and add like some drama to make it very night appropriate next I'm going to take that warm brown eyeshadow from the palette called old-fashioned and I'm just going to pop it into the outer corner just in the outer V and that's just going to add a little bit of dimension, a little bit more depth. And this is where I mean like you can go a bit smoky and ever so slightly blending it into the inner corner. Not too much, because I don't want a lot of that dark there. I just want it really on the outer corner. Next, I'm just going to grab this shade called Sorbet and it's a nice um, flesh tone color. I'm just going to use that to um, blend the edges so that's nice and soft. Again, I don't want any harsh lines. Next we're going to do a bit of a cut crease and I'm going to be grabbing another colour tattoo. Now this time this is in the shade Socialite, so this is what that shade looks like. It's, so it's a nice sort of like light rose gold type shade. It's going to complement the copper tones really well. So I'm just going to grab a synthetic brush. So something like a concealer brush is going to work really well for this. And then I'm just going to do a bit of like a stamping motion taking advantage of the shape of the brush. So how far in do you bring it in? Normally I just use the pupil as a guide as to how far I'll bring it in. But obviously you don't want to stop abruptly, so I'm gonna bring it a little bit over. So I'm going back into that shade Sugar Coated, and I'm just going to use that to blend the edges. Just like that. And then I'm just going to grab that dark brown again, just reinforcing and blending. When it comes to blending, just seriously take your time. The more time you take to blend, the better it's going to look. And you're gonna thank yourself when it's selfie time. All right, so I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and then we'll go back into the eyes. All right, so the rest of the makeup is on and now I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. Now, this is where I personally think where you need to kind of really consider if you're going to go for a smoky look or you're going to go for a soft muted look. Now if you guys are going to go for a muted look, something you know appropriate for daytime or just like light makeup in general, I would say go ahead and grab one of the gel tattoo liners. I'd recommend either rich clay or if you want a slightly shimmery like lighter sort of like under eye, um, I would go for the rose gold shade. These two are going to work perfectly just to give you that nice bright look. If however you're like me, you want to go for for a smoky dramatic look, I would say go for um, maybe a dark brown on the lower lash line and that's going to give you a very, very smoky look. My personal favorite technique is to start using a um, pencil liner, whether it be a gel or coal liner, doesn't really matter. Um, this is going to serve as a base. So 
I'm just going to run it on the lower lash line. By the way, this one is in the shade Bold Brown. Okay, at this point it looks quite weird, I know. Um, I'm going to go back into the Lemonade Craze palette and I'm going to be grabbing um, this shade here called Coral Punch, which is basically like a coral peachy orangey shade. Just going to use that to blend the edges of that brown. Alright, so the lower lash line is nice and smoked. Now before I pop on some lashes and do some mascara, I'm going to be applying this in the inner corner. So this is again a tattoo liner um, gel pencil and this one is in the shade Rose Gold. Just going to use this as my inner corner highlight. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Now to make the inner corner highlight pop even more, I'm just going to be grabbing this highlighter. This one is the Molten Rose Gold. And I'm going to be grabbing the Lasting Fix Spray. Just going to spritz it. It's just going to make that highlighter sort of like this wet sort of like consistency. And then when you apply it onto the skin, it turns it almost metallic. Like, girl. That is stunning. So I'm just going to do that again on the other side. And this goes for like shimmery eyeshadows as well. Just add a little bit of setting spray or just like water onto your brush. Not too much, obviously. Um, and it will transform. Ugh, it will transform and like, look at that. So much drama already, like so much bright. Like, girl, it's so bright on the inner corner. I just love it. And while I have the setting spray out, I might as well just set the rest of my face. Alright guys, so there you guys go. That is the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and found some useful tips on how to wear copper. Honestly, copper eyeshadows are so versatile and you can definitely wear them for day or night. So yeah, there you guys go. That is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys did. And I will catch you guys, hopefully, in the next Makeup Loft video. Bye!